One of my favorite type of fishing is to grab my kayak, my gear, my pup mulligan, and to head to a small remote lake. Sometimes the access is a little bit difficult, there's no boat launch, but it's all worth it because it's usually quiet and there's lots of fish to be caught. I really enjoy paddling the kayak and getting into areas that a lot of larger boats can't get into. I like the idea of paddling quietly so there's no motor sounds and sneaking up on the fish. The hot last days of summer are ideal because the water temperature is warm, there's lots of vegetation, and it's actually the perfect environment to catch both pike and bass in a lot of these smaller lakes. Both species of fish can feed in the shallows along the shoreline, but as the summer progresses and the weeds get really heavy, a lot of them will move off a little bit into the deeper water. Bigger largemouth, and also northern pike, learn to feed on larger bait fish. And a lot of times when they're cruising that open water off the weed lines, they're looking for individual fish because they know that those are usually an easy meal. When it comes to picking an artificial lure to fish just off the shorelines, I prefer to use a slash bait. The Shadow Wrap Deep is a very versatile lure. I can just cast it out and just retrieve it steadily so it has a nice wobble from side to side and it'll eventually dive down a little bit deeper or I can pause it and snap my rod tip continuously and that gives it that slashing action from side to side. So that slashing action not only attracts the fish but it also keeps the lure from diving down too deep. In either situation it's the combination of the slashing and the wobble that attracts those fish and when they come up they really nail that shadow wrap deep. Both largemouth bass and pike have exceptional eyesight, and that's one of the reasons why the Shadow Wrap series comes in very natural colors. They almost have a mirror-like finish that really looks like a, a real fish underwater. When I see a potential fish holding area, my first casts are 90 degrees. They're perpendicular right to the shore. Then my next casts are a little bit deeper. And then I'll even cast out away from the kayak into the deepest of water because a lot of times both pike and bass will be suspended over deep water but only down about 5 to 10 feet. If you're fishing in late summer and you're fishing those shallow water breaks in the deeper water, I'm telling you that a twitch bait or a slash bait is the best presentation that you can make. Even if the fishing gets slow, you have the highest percentage of catching trophy fish.